So all of you are seeing our just as we start, so we haven't really started yet. Oh, hold on. Oh, it might be nice if I did that, huh? Oh, we got a warm-up music. I like to get Jeffrey dancing because did you fix my got it right there? That's good. Okay. Did you fix me on 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 down or something? There's no fixing. You cut off my head. I'm trying to get it back up. All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jeremiah's J Man Manero. J Man speaks. Coming to you live and direct. Uh, we're on the Instagram and we're on the Facebook today. On the book face. On the book face. Much to say about nothing. I'm here with Jeffrey Scott Stanton. And I'm here with Jeremiah's J Man Manero. Indubitably. <laughs> indubitably indubitably this is someone that's another reel of it indubitably indubitably for that, those of you don't know there was uh someone that did a reel of j-man saying indubitably and me saying indubitably so now you whole have us a whole bunch of time saying indubitably well I, let's be honest folks if you're watching this now or on the replay doesn't jeff look like somebody that would use the term <laughs> indubitably like in a con like he would gradually be like they'd be like you know jeff i feel like the real estate market in the new york city area really is quite indubitably it <laughs> is. indubitably <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh even if this is a trend wrap we do have a good time doing it oh I donna moved to facebook thank you donna great to Thanks, see donna. you Billy yes, I'm not going to look at the Insta at all, but we are on Instagram too, both on J-Man's page and on my Well, this page. is a better angle. Last time he had Instagram and it was like the lower angle up his nostril. Oh, no, no, it was near your hand. So like he's talking like this. Yeah. Hey, oh my gosh, it's so good. And then all we saw were hands almost the whole time. It's pretty. Yeah, I don't like the Instagram angle here. I know, but some people, do about it now. some people feel like, uh, see, look, Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany Balanoff. She said 100%. I, she is talking about the indubitably. See? We might have a new catchphrase for you, like hashtag indubitably. Indubitably. <laughs> if you spell it correctly, somebody look it up quick on how to spell it. Um, I have no idea how to spell that. Am I, did you see? I don't know. You, I know you don't usually go back to after my live stream on Friday. I looked up the origin of bees knees because I said. Yeah, because I want to know where that came from. Like, I know the term. I'm like, but where does bees knees come from? So originally, this is just a fun fact because we have much to say about nothing, guys. But when people say, oh, that's the bee's knees, originally it was meant as a negative uh, description. So like bees don't have knees, and it, so they were making some, like a like small of it. Oh, yeah, that's the bee's knees. Uh-huh. But then as uh, sayings became popular, like that's the cat's whiskers or – Th that's the bee's knees. It meant like it's something something cool. If you saw a bee that had knees, okay. you'd be like, "Damn, that bee's got knees." That's the bee's knees. <laughs> oh, I can't. I just can't. Now I'm, I'm now I'm looking for the Instagram for someone to please help us on Instagram because I have yeah. Just just post a question quick. Today we're talking about investing in yourself. What yep. does that mean to you, Jeffrey? Well, I think investing in yourself is more than just spending money on yourself. It's to me is investing in yourself has to do with growth. So like this morning, first thing when I got up, like I, I listen to podcasts when I first get up in the morning. Literally, my my Alexa goes off. Oh God, she was just about to talk to me. Um, oh, yeah, the don't. smart thing goes off, and um, like ten minutes later, once I get into my kitchen, it starts playing a podcast for me. So I listen to podcast. That's how I invest. I invest in my knowledge, and it's not always real. Sometimes it's real estate related. This morning I was listening to a Tom Ferry thing that he had uh, that he had posted. It's actually on YouTube. Wasn't even on that. Um, <clears throat> but investing in yourself, investing in yourself is there to either make you a better person, make you a more well-rounded person, make you more money. It all depends upon what you're doing to actually invest in yourself. Hmm, I like that. I I always think of because I travel a lot, so I hear a lot of the flight attendants going through the. Uh, you know, this is how you click your receipt mm -hmm. all together and all that good stuff. But now, I mean, they always say, make sure you put on your oxygen mask first, right? It's like yep. such a good metaphor for that. Like, if I don't have oxygen to take care of myself, I can't help mm -hmm. my family or my children that are dying of lack of oxygen as the plane's going down. And now they even, yep. now they even wait because common sense isn't common. They tell you, please remove your mask. Before 
before putting, putting on the oxygen mask. Yeah, I know. I noticed that when I was flying back from San Diego. It was the first time I heard that. I'm like, what? really? Yeah. And if Thought they somebody uh, actually knew that, I think if you forget to do the mask, then you know it's Darwinism at its best. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, you All right, survive. So, Why? Okay. So before we digress even further uh, mm -hmm. with Darwinism, so today's topic is investing in yourself. And what are the things we can do to it? And, and, and James, like every other week, we usually flop, flip flop picking, you know, at topics the last minute. Yeah. At the last minute. Um, because we just do that usually the day before or the morning of. And yeah. um, it's his turn. So you pick investing in yourself, especially during these times. And we spoke real briefly in our pre show. It was like, hey, what do you mean by that? And one of the things James says, you have time now. And I think you do because I think. For a lot of real estate agents, this is downtime between Thanksgiving and Christmas, or for a lot of real estate agents between Christmas and New Year's. Now, I wouldn't suggest it actually is your downtime because I think the people that are hustling now mm -hmm. are people that are making a lot of money. I think the sellers that are selling now and the buyers that are buying between Thanksgiving and New Year's are very serious about doing this. So I don't necessarily consider it downtime, but it is a good time to invest in yourself, especially if you want to do stuff like videos and podcasts and those types of things because they run sales and everything. Yes, I do agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, um, <laughs> uh, they run sales and everything. And I think it's not downtime necessarily, necessarily. Cause I don't believe and like, uh, okay, tomorrow I'm not working. Right. Yeah. But Friday is not a holiday. It's Black Friday. Every oh, I got to go wait in line uh, for the, the flat screen that I'm going to save 200 bucks on. How about you go like to work? Just, and make, I can just buy it online and save right. the same amount of money. How about you go to work and make yourself five grand on Friday and then just order it online? But I, I think it's not downtime, but time that could be utilized in different ways uh, to really gain an edge in the competition because, like you said, there's certain people right now, probably since Monday, Sunday, Sunday, mm -hmm. Monday, that have checked out. They've quite yeah. literally, if we had a punch, a clock that we would punch, they go and they go, oh, it's Monday. It's the holiday season. I'll and be back on the following Monday. Oh, no, no, no. I'll be back January 2nd. Yes. <laughs> and this is the thing. Like, to me, we're talking about investing yourself, and you're absolutely right. So we did, I know that was two weeks ago, in our Texas region, we had did a, a a business plan business planning session and the reason being is because your business plan should be done october november so this is the thing like to me investing in yourself is if you don't have your business plan now's the time to do it it may be a little bit slower where you actually can have the time to do it because i'm curious anybody wants to write in the chat is how many of you actually do have a legitimate business plan because i think part of your business plan is how am I going to invest in myself next year? And I know people write business plans. This is how much money I'm going to put into my marketing. This is how much I'm budgeting for this. But like, what are you budgeting for your self-improvement or your professional development or professional improvement? I think that's part of investing in yourself. Just stop. Yeah, I was, I was hoping you would repeat <laughs> into that one. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like actively listening and waiting. Like it wasn't like a, it was like a, it wasn't like it was a, a pause. You're supposed, this, you're supposed to fill in that pause. So Jay, man, what do you think about that statement I just made? Well, I totally agree. I was half listening because I was trying to read the comments on Facebook, but no. Okay. Business planning. So now is the time to dive deeper into your business plan. And what I tell agents is you don't even realize what you're spending money on. Right? So go to your credit card yeah. statements analyze all the things that you've spent money on. You have many things that are recurring on a monthly basis that you forgot about. You're like, damn, like I, I just got hit for something 75 bucks a month. I'm like, what? I haven't used that in six months. That's coming off, right? Or look at what you're spending money on. See if you're getting a return, analyze what that return is. And sometimes you may want to invest more money into something. Right. Yep. If, if, if Facebook ads are working for you and you're investing a hundred bucks a month, then maybe make that 500 bucks a month. Right. If there's a return, there's a return. And it's one of those like investing yourself to me it is like one of the first steps you do when doing your business plan is deciding to invest in yourself is what Jamie said, track what you spent last year. Do you even know what you spent last year on things? Cause maybe investing in yourself is cutting out some of those things you're wasting money on that you can actually use that money more resourcefully 
you can use that money for better purposes than, you know, yeah. oh, that's, oh, I got an executive summary every single morning on what happened the night before on the news. Like, do I really need to spend nineteen ninety five a month on that? Probably not. Indubitably not. Was that right? Is that Indubitably right? not. Yes. So, Jamin, what are things we can, what are, what are ways or things we can do to invest in ourselves and invest in our business? Because this is it is. You have a business. Businesses need to invest in themselves. And you are your business. 100%. Yeah. So I think the first thing I would do is, is look at all the things that you do on a, on a, a weekly basis. We always say this, like log your activities. We've mentioned this in earlier podcasts. So you can see all of the things that you're really wasting time on. Cause when I talk to agents and they go, Oh, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. I'm just, yeah. Jeff, I'm so busy. What'd you do this week? Oh, I did this. And it's like, they organized their desk. They got their car washed. They picked up the dry cleaning. They walked the dog. They did laundry. Um, they alphabetized their, their, <laughs> their filing cabinet, things that aren't income producing activities or mm -hmm. pushing paperwork to attorneys or title companies yep. or putting up signs or putting up lock boxes. For me, I would really dive deeper into your, your business and say, what are all the things that I can pay somebody to do that make me no money at all? And so that you can spend more time talking to buyers and sellers and networking and doing all the things mm -hmm. that only you can do as a, as the CEO of your own business. And if it's paying a virtual assistant, if it's paying your niece or nephew or one of your kids to do that type of stuff, <clears throat> this is agents always say, Hey, I'm too busy to do this. I'm too busy to take that class. I'm too busy for this. I'm too busy for that. And you're right. When you break it down, what they're actually busy doing, they're the menial tasks that they're not the profitable tasks. So again, it goes through not only tracking what you're doing is like, Dollar we, we did this in a business planning class is how much you get paid per hour. So th this is the formula and I'll give everybody this one. I may have said it before is, and, and they NAR has done a study on this and it's based upon cold calling. It's based upon cold calling. So this is what everybody can do and do this. And I'll give you the formula is take what your average commission is per deal. Take what your average commission is per deal, total gross commission income. Then what you're going to do is you're going to divide it by 36 because this is what NAR says. It takes approximately mm -hmm. 160. NAR, sorry. It takes approximately 160 two way conversations to set up anywhere between three to six listing appointments. And you'll generally get, and this is for new people, you'll generally get two out of those three or six, depending upon how good you are. And then you'll sell one. And it takes approximately 36 hours of lead generating activity, 36 hours of two way conversations to get that deal that you're going to close. So if you take your average commission and divide it by 36, that's your hourly rate of pay. Now, are you sitting there playing a, placing a Facebook ad or designing your own flyer or whatever it happens to do? That's what you're getting paid per hour. That's what you get paid per hour to talk on the phone to people. And we did this when we were in Texas. Some people's were $200 an hour. Another person was $3,500 per hour. So that's what you get paid to have conversations with people. So what, Investing in yourself is investing in your business and investing your time properly. To me, it's not, oh, I have to, I have to design this, you know, flyer on Canva. Pay somebody to do it. Go to fiverr.com. Yeah. Especially, <coughs> especially if it's something, you know, I always say if you did something and it took you an hour or two hours, which, you know, a flyer could, cause I, I get weird about images that I'm going to use and I'm looking for this image and I go down this black hole and then I, next thing yeah. you know, an hour goes by. Would I pay somebody $200 an hour to do what I just did? And if the answer is hell no, then you need to find somebody to do it for you, right? Hop yeah. on fiber. Somebody could do it for you for 20 bucks. As long as it takes Absolutely. them, who cares? It's, it's task based rather than per hour. So I think it's again, it's investing where your time's invested properly. I think it's investing in yourself and what are you going to invest in doing next year? Like what's worked for you has the open houses worked for you has, um, average, take your average commission and divide it by 36, anywhere from 32 to 36. Let's just use number 36. So you take your, someone just asked, uh, Michelle, so you can take your average commission and divide it by 36. That's how much you get paid by hour per hour to have two way conversations. And this is the, the, the statistic was done for people with the first year in the business. That's how much you get paid per hour. Jamie is doing the math on his head. He's looking for a calculator. I got it. I got it. But that that's how much you get that's how much you get paid per hour to do income producing activities, which is marketing yourself cold, and I don't like cold cold call, telephone marketing. 
Prospecting. But prospecting. Yeah, prospecting is a great word. So investing in yourself to me is is especially now is looking at what am I going to invest in next year? Is do I want to he's taking his shoes off? It's pretty funny. Um, do I'm reading the comments? Do to count. That's what you say, in case you missed that. Do, I, do so I want to continue to invest? in this program? Do I want to continue to invest in this dialer? Do I want to continue to invest in open houses? And not only do I want to continue to invest in things, but how am I going to invest in myself? I ask people all the time, like, when was the last time you took a class? Now, for those of you who are, are probably watching this, you're probably the people who actually take classes and listen to right. the podcast, right. but you're, watching this you're investing yourself, you know, by watch, if, if you're not watching this, you're one of the agents who aren't investing in yourself for the most part. So we could talk about you. Yeah. Cause you'll never know. <laughs> no, unless one of your friends tell you. Right. Like, yo, they were talking so, about you today. Mr. Sells all the time and is so busy and never wants to do anything to invest in themselves. Yes. You No, not you, not you. You're a friend in the office. Yes. So what other things, Jay, what, what are you, Jay, man, what are you investing in this holiday season? So I know oh, you were asking me. About I'm this. glad you asked my friend. Oh Stella. yeah. Well, look at I, number one, you got to be ready to pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. Jeff needs to invest in WD-40 for his chair. Let's start with that. <laughs> <laughs> Squeaky ass chair. chair. Like, wah, wah. But uh, you got to be ready to pull the trigger. And I know early in my career, I was always like, wow, that's expensive. Or, oh, I don't want to spend money on that. And how does this mm -hmm. angle? Don't step over dollars to make pennies. Right, because I always I always used to mix that up. Don't step over pennies to make. Dollars. Yeah, you got it right. You got it right. You got it. Yeah, write. don't step over dollars to make pennies. It's like it's not how much this costs. It's what does this investment? What will this investment? What kind of a return um, can I get on it? Will it give me more time, or will it give me more business? And uh, one of the two. And so for me, messenger bots. Obviously, I'm big into it, but we're gonna go a whole next level uh, next year with that. Uh, predictive analytics, anything to do with data. I think I'm really great at prospecting. I've been cold calling my whole life, but if you take mm -hmm. that and combine it with predictive analytics, it's the best of both worlds. Yeah. You know, it even comes down like I'll ask agents, do you have a CRM? Oh no, I don't need one of those. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I don't care if you only have a database of 50 people, you need a CRM. Is that something you're willing to invest in? because the return on investment by automating things. See, this is the thing. Good systems, good systems, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Never mind. I just totally lost my train of thought. But having a system in place makes your life easier. It's simple, I, I, there was a saying, I totally forgot to say. All right. No, good okay, let me systems. actually, this, I want systems, this should be process. Having that process in place, which a system is, good process drives good results. So if you have a good process of how do I stay in touch with people, spending the money for that, spending the money for that CRM drives a good result. You know, so is is it part of investing in yourself is taking the time to decide what processes am I getting put in place? Like, do 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 I have a checklist? Or do I have a flow chart of everything I do from my initial consultation when I sit down with the person throughout the entire process? Everything I'm gonna I do. take it. I do I think it bust for this you. For you. Um, <laughs> so do you have that process in place or have you documented that process? And if you haven't, you should, because when people are like, oh, well, how am I going to, how am I going to get an assistant? I don't even know how to tell the assistant to do half these things. Yeah. Document the process. To me, that's a well worth investment of your time to document the process, to get a CRM, to put the process in place with predictive analytics or whatever it happens to be. You know, to me, that's investing in yourself and investing in your business. And I like what you said about systems and results because for those of us who are busy and the majority of us are scatterbrained in real estate, let's be realistic, right? We're, we're like, ah, 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 all over the place, the shiny things. And it's like, if I have a system in place, then I know it's going to get done. And I, mm -hmm. I think... Predictive analytics, like that's something we can set up a system where like somebody reached a certain threshold. Most of them rank it like, you know, up to 40, then 40 to 60, 60 to 80, 80 to 100 kind mm -hmm. of a thing. So when they reach a certain threshold, it triggers something which then reaches out automatically to 
the person. And depending on, on what you're using for data, it could be somebody within your sphere, so it's less of a cold call, um, or it could be somebody uh, that you've never met before. But I, let's get back to the virtual assistants because we, we kind of went you know, right over it, and I think that's important. If there's one thing that you were to invest in this year, I think I would start with, with a virtual assistant. Yeah. You know, if you're in this way, we tell agents like, oh, I want to start a team. No, 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 no. Why do you want? Because I want to do more business. I'm so busy. No, then what you want to do is again, get an assistant. The first step before even starting a team, unless it's a partnership, and that's a little bit different, but then you still should have an assistant or a virtual assistant. The first step before anyone starts a team should be to get an assistant. Because you'll realize how much time doing the menial things are actually I don't. I feel bad even saying it menial, but doing the things that aren't are. income producing act activities. Because, like I said, this is what I tell agents, you get paid to talk to people. That's what you get paid to do in life. You get paid to speak to people. Anything else is not an income producing activity. So it's one of those where that should be the first step. And you can get virtual assistance for a couple hundred dollars per month. You can get it for a thousand or two thousand dollars per month, depending upon what the company is and what you actually want them to do. Yeah. No, so we, right. um, yeah. So if, if you're on the Facebook and if you're on Instagram, what you do is go to my Facebook page and send me this keyword. Uh, we have a keyword VA stuff, VA stuff. If you send me that keyword, it's actually going to auto reply back. Um, or even I'll put the link in the comments of the Facebook stream. It'll comment or reply back with a checklist of it's, it'll send you to virtual assistance, assistant.com which evaluates, it's an independent company that evaluates all your virtual assistant options and tells you pros, cons, what they do. Uh, and, and then the second part of that, like Jeffrey said, is documenting- I'm trying my sound effects, but they're not working. Oh, good. I was doing Here. cash register sound effects. Here, I'll take this for you. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. But your second no, step after you, or when you start evaluating your, your companies is setting up your systems and processes of how you do things and to do that, you record everything. Uh, we, rec we recommend a, it's a Chrome extension. I was just talking. Oh, there he goes. Um, do the cash register. I want to hear the cash register. I don't know if it works on my thing. Oh, man. No, no it's not working that way. That's BS. Uh, but we recommend a, a Chrome extension called, <laughs> Yay! called Screencastify. It's not an app. It's not a program. It's a Chrome extension. Screencastify. You add it to your Chrome. And what you, and it's worth going pro. I think it's like 34 bucks one time purchase. And it will, it will automatically sync everything that you record to your Google drive. And if you heard us talk, it's worth upgrading your Google to the, to the G suite or the, what do they call it now? Business suite, Google business, something. They changed it from G suite, yeah. but anyways, to I know expert. you're not listening to me, but what you do is you're going to document everything that you do. So if you're going to put in a listing tomorrow because you don't have a virtual assistant or uh, somebody that can do that for you yet, as you put in that listing, record the entire process, and then you have to narrate that process. So, okay, so first thing I do is I'd like to put my photos in the order of how I would like them to upload into Matrix because that's how it will upload into Matrix. It will save me a step. Um, when I save it, so I don't have to reorganize the order. I then go in and I do the public remarks. And the, so however, you want to voice over that so that you could then send that to a virtual assistant. They transcribe it and you got an operations manual. What? Yep. That's the first thing you have them do. The first thing you have them do is transcribe your, I think that's yeah. The first thing you have them do is transcribe your, your systems, Recordings. everything you screencast or screen record, I should say. Oh, uh, Michelle said you had a better sound effect. Whatever. Whatever, I, Michelle. I, really, I don't know why. My stream deck is not streaming through. The, the <laughs> uh, oh, that I have that one, too. I like that one. I know you do. I have that. Bing. So back on track. Um, so, yeah, maybe it's that you want to invest in a virtual assistant. I think that's a great investment and, you know, taking the time now to actually, um, the cash register, right there, I have it someplace. Um, taking the time now to J man's looking up for a cash register. What I know he is <laughs> taking the time now to invest, to do the research, totally to invest yeah. next year in the, um, 
in a virtual assistant will actually work. Now I'm going to be silent so Jamie can't focus on the cash register sound effect. Damn it. I'm going to get one. I won't get one today. I'll have it for Friday's broadcast, whoever's tuning in. <clears throat> okay. So we talked about predictive analytics, data. We talked about messenger bots, um, and importance of a CRM. We recommend uh, whatever, really, they always say the best one for you to use is the best one for you. Oh, he did it. He did it. Look, I don't know which one I would recommend, but. Whichever one Anywho. you're going to use uh, is is one that works, but some of them have integrations as well. So if yep. your CRM has integrations, look through that because some I always like to go into the program and go, ooh, what kind of integrations are there? Because they don't always advertise them or talk about them. Oh, every hour. Ba -bing! Ba -bing! I just wanted to see what, what I had two different cash register sound effects, but they're both the same. Subtle, she said. Uh, yeah, very subtle. <laughs> That's what I am very, very subtle. But figuring yeah, out okay. the integration what the integrations are and how they work uh, because some of them have an, a bot built in. Uh, the one that yep. I recommend has a bot built in where they, it's an AI bot, which is a little bit different than my messenger bot. Mine has programmed flows that are designed to trigger in certain situations and provide resources. So there's a lot of great tools out there. I think technology, anything related to technology, data, anything can get you back more time. And like Tiffany just finished saying, she's working on getting a, a better life balance for herself. Like it, mm -hmm. it's not always about the money. It's okay. like how much of so my time. Let me, can I let me actually back up. Tiffany, I, I, I want to, I want to change what you just said. Cause for those of you who know me, I'm big into linguistics. Um, she wants a better work life balance. So work life balance means they're opposing forces. Cause when you try to balance things, they're opposing forces. And if you look at something, I want to have a balance. There are two things that are always competing. What you want to do is have almost a unison between the two. It's like, how do I get these two things integrated and unified? Not, not the balance because balance are competing forces. And one is always going to weigh more than the other. So it's like, how can I create that work-life unison? How can I have the two coinciding together? Jay, man. <laughs> no, I, I think it's, we're always chasing that. It, it's you'll never be a hundred like a teeter totter if you're looking at the teeter totter you're never going to be like this just like you said you go this way this way that way this way but it, it's really identifying when you're doing your business plan i understand that it is a business plan but as a business owner you have to create a business that can run without well, you someone on facebook just said jeff concentrate that was on I, I, I instagram I'm Instagram. I, I don't know what. See, look at you. I can't even concentrate on where it is. I already already saw that. But the uh, <laughs> I like Tiffany's comment. I just need to get a life. Well, it's but it's determining like at the when you look at your business plan, treat it like a business and say, as a business owner, as a CEO, like I'm only doing the most important thing. So when it's time to shut mm -hmm. down and have like one thing that I've always tried to concentrate on is if I'm doing something, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be present in that moment 100% of the time. So I'm not, uh, if I'm, you know, we're doing something with the kids later on today, I'm not checking my phone. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm all in on whatever I'm doing right now. If I'm all into this, in this moment. right here. Until he squirrels. And then right it's now, fine. right here, right now, right here. So what are you investing in? Like what? What are you getting to your professional, your personal? What? What's your, what's your things that you're investing in before the end of the year? Data, and messenger bot. Data. Yeah. 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 You know, predictive uh, analytics for me. I wanna, I, like I said, I'm really good at prospecting. I'm good at my strength is talking with my clients, uh, mm -hmm. and if I know who's more likely to sell, then I can have those conversations. And not know like a, hey, who do you know is looking to buy or sell? It's like, how can yeah. I help you? Right? How can I be a resource? How can I help? I know J Man's also looking to invest in a couple of new mics, unless you did that already. Weren't you looking at mics? Yeah. I'm waiting for the sale. Yes, I am going to look so good. Sure is actually having a sale. What is it? I don't remember what it is, but there is a Black Friday sale. Oh. I think it actually starts today. 
But they have one for the MV7, which is the one I have. The one at the office that you saw is the MV5, which is the old school silver one. The MV7 has the XLR. I just had to look to make sure. The MV7 has the has the XLR. Jeff's gonna the invest in a new in a new office chair that's quiet. I'm sorry. I will. I'll invest in a new office chair that's quiet. Just for you, J Man. This one does squeak a little bit. Or just a WD forty or something. No, so I, I am looking for, because as COVID starts to, you know, we allow more, and I'm going to have people in the studio kind of doing broadcasts with me. Uh, I want an omnidirectional mic. Originally, I got a cardioid mic, and the difference is, like, the sound only comes from here. Omnidirectional, yeah. I could have somebody in here. We could put it right on the table, and we can talk, no problem. So I'm definitely looking to get in a mic. I'm, you know, and it, it doesn't have to be business-related, because I'm investing in a, in a ninja gym. Not investing in the gym, but in a membership at the gym uh, because ah. I'm getting a membership. They have an unlimited membership it, where you can you can go and, and as long as much as you want for a certain amount of money. Okay. Do you guys you have a ninja gym there? I've been to one in the yeah. Bro- in, in Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Zoo, it's called. It's yeah, I, I've never been there before. <laughs> oh, no. I think I saw you, you know, smoking outside the, the gym. Probably waving to people walking in, something like that. Oh, what are you guys doing? The ninja stuff? Oh my gosh! All right, already. I got to. You know, you can have a heart attack with that much exercise. <laughs> uh, but so yeah, guess, in, I'll investing ask, in yourself, I'll ask right? audience. health as well. What do you invest? Like, what, what's everybody who's watching us or listening to us investing in? It was me, teach. teach? This is the moment where we wait for you. Oh, post in the comments. Sound. You have a cricket sound, don't you? Yep, hold on. I don't have the cricket sound up. I'll tell you this, as far as... Oh, I can't comment, never mind. Um, as far as training company-wise, we're actually investing in a lot of cool new things. So we actually have a whole bunch of cool programs that we're actually coming out with. Um, Jamin is looking out the window. Camera and lights. Um, Michelle's investing in camera and lights. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we're actually, we're investing in our agents. I mean, that's the best thing I can do as, as far as my company stand. Michelle, she's just getting camera and lights. Oh, here's, but, I want to talk about this briefly, but go ahead. See anything please, else? Go ahead, go ahead, no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. I was, I was going <coughs> to say, uh, I spent about a day, it was about six or seven hours setting up an Amazon store. Let me explain how this works. Uh, I was contacted to be an Amazon influencer. They have a, like a live program. Let's call it like a QVC, right? Mm-hmm. But part of that, I can review products that I purchased because I'm not going to like, advise people to buy stuff that I haven't tried out myself. But also, if you recommend stuff, you put it in your store. And so I, I set it up to help agents and speakers and anybody who's like, Jay, man, your video. Oh, that's great. I love the, how it looks and the lighting and all that. Where did you get it? So I had an equipment, uh, one sheet set up with links. This makes it much easier because then I'm going to post the link in the comments. Um, you should be able to go to amazon.jmanspeaks.com. I think that's the subdomain. I oh, they can up. see there and see all Jayman's recommended materials. All recommended my recommendations. Products. And what's nice is they have it organized by lists. So it'll be like, um, I, I said like, crispy camera options. Then I said, show me the lights. And then I said, crispy Mike, camera Mike options. check one, two, one, two. These are my like uh, sections. Then I have yeah, I, I, computer I accessories. Did, yeah. Then I even broke See, it now, down. How can like, we, why just everything else is, you know, crispy mics. Why just computer accessories? Cause my creativity had run out when I got, there. <laughs> I think I said gazuntas, all the gazuntas and honor. Gazuntas? Roseanne Farrell, like all the things that goes into your computer. Into- yeah. Uh, so I have that. But then I also, because I thought I do recommend a lot of things that aren't related to work. So I have a fitness section, like things that I recommend, like for runners who want to run in the dark, runners who want to run in the, in the, in the cold, all the things that I do, because people will message me and be like, do that. dude, why are you running in the cold? Right. Or how do you run in the cold? Or how do you run in the dark no. and I get hit by cars? I would never ask that. I would say is why that would be my question to you, Jamie. And why are you, you running know why? Because why one day there? if we're getting chased by bears, I don't have to outrun the bear, Jeffrey. I just got to outrun you. 
I'm for those of you, you who are from Alaska, that's what they say in Alaska. Never go into the woods unless you're going with someone slower than you. Because you know, right. then you don't have to outrun the bear. You only have to outrun them. That's I had a right. boss that was from Alaska. I'm like, see you, Jeff. And I'm like, where are you going? Pew! Jeffrey. So I, I'll tell you one of the things that I'm actually yeah. really cool that J-Man suggested that I invest in is the stream deck. That was actually one of the cool things you actually said and that I invested in. And I thought it was actually really cool. So yeah, I have mine on mine here too. And that's on my recommended list. Amazon.jmanfreak.com. See, and then, so let's talk about the size because I have both sizes on there, the XL and I think this is the medium. Is there a smaller one in there? I like the five. Was it five by three? Yeah. Yep. I like the five by three. I like it. And now I actually, just I have enough. one for my home office and I have one for my off office office. I actually invested in two of them. What? Yeah, I have two of them. You are fancy pants. Bougie. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. Oh, wait, I, I'm going to share this story uh, oh. because it's good. You know, they say, tell me you're bougie without saying that you're bougie. Jeffrey, we're in the we're in San Diego. We're going up the Isn't elevator. And he's like, oh, man, I had the best triple tip steak. Nope. Try tip sandwich. See? First of all. For those of you are Hold from up. California from or Arizona, you know what a tri-tip what tri-tip steak is. Or I had tri-tip sandwich, but you know what it is. Okay. You can't get it on the East Coast. Go ahead, J-Man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. So he's like, yeah, you know, yeah. indubitably, I just had a tri-tip steak. <laughs> so like, I don't want to sound like an idiot, but what the f are you talking about? And he's like, oh, you know, when they're when they cut the cow and there's. Meat. The cut of the meat, and you had the filet and the sirloin, and the meat, and the bonjour, and the mon ami, and comment ça va. I was just like, okay, that's great. So he he, J Man thinks tri tip is bougie. For those of you who 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 know what tri tip steak is, please explain to him in the chat. Okay, please. Was it on the lunch specials? No, it was on the lunch. Special. Okay. Is that, is that your gauge for bougie? If it's on or off the lunch special? Uh, I mean, it was probably off menu. It was probably like, no, hello, hello, could you ask the cook? Or could you ask the chef to make right. me a tri it tip? Was, it was off menu. It was a tri tip sandwich. It was really good, too. Really, really, really good. Really good. <laughs> was it good, though? It was. Uh, you know what else is good? Investing in yourself this holiday season. See how I just Billy said she's investing in tech video editing programs. Very cool. Mm. Oh, no, I'm going to put my Amazon store up in here. I work so hard on it. I want you guys to be proud of me. Send it to me. I won't market all the spam. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put it here in the comments. You know what's weird? Can we comment after? Oh, see? Aisha says Jeff for sure is bougie. Thank you. Thank you. Who said that? Um, Nobody said that. She, yeah. If you think Jeff's Look that bougie, up if you just, think. Just put a yes oh, in the comments. I don't know. I am not. Dude, it's okay, bro. I don't see that Look, comment. I don't see I, that. No, I, it's okay, fine, but I don't I, see that I come comment. from a position of inclusion. I have bougie friends. I have not bougie Oh, look friends. at this comment. Oh, I okay. cannot believe J-Man thinks tri-tip is bougie. Get a clue. Who said that? That's what it says. Who said? Nobody said that. You're it's, lying. It's in the chat. <laughs> Nobody it said that. J Man, leave Jeff alone. I love tri tip. Eat it all the time. See, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're, <stupid. laughs> You're lying. Jeff's Somebody not please. He just has good taste. J Man has really bad taste. See, look at that. It says it there, too. Wow. Jeff is a creative writer. He was always the best at essay questions in school. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> are you? What are you doing? <laughs> so we're both digressing here. So, um, I, I don't even know at this point. You know, sometimes these are just train wreck, and I think today's just one of those train wreck type of. Type here of we go. Amazon.com slash shop slash Jman speaks. Ooh, ooh, check out my store. Boo, boo, check out the store. Cotton Eye Joe. J -Man's, J Man's bougie. He has an Amazon store. No, we call that intelligent. Indubitably. Where's my monocle? I'm going to get a monocle. Please don't. All right. So, any questions from our, uh, our, our, our studio, non studio, live audience, non live audience? Oh, we got hecklers. Yeah. Bougie Jeff with his squeaky chair. 
Lucia. <laughs> I don't even know who this person is. Who is this person? <laughs> Do I know you personally? Because if I know you personally, then you can call me bougie. Yeah. Chef for Jeff for Christmas. I do need to, I don't, I just need to oil this one up and it'll be fine. So what's everybody else investing? Anybody want to, or ask us a question as far as, Hey, I'm thinking about doing this. What do you guys think? We'd be more than happy to answer that. Otherwise, J-Man's uh, walking away and then it's just the Jeff show without J-Man. Bougie Jeff. Jeff without J -Man. Oh. What are you doing? What? What? Uh, what? So a new chair. Yes. Belly. I'll get a new chair for Christmas. J-Man just, oh, I guess J-Man just passing the time. Well, uh, we wait for questions. Oh, so, I, was, um, uh, I was showing everybody how uh, non bougie J Man doesn't have a squeaky chair. I have a CRM. What's the first buy investment? First investment in myself I need if I have a CRM. So, Alan, I, I would say the predictive data would definitely be a good place to start. Um, and we're not directing any which way. There's a company, Revaluate. I have one that I used with Revaluate. If you go to getsellersnow.com, uh, that can integrate with your existing CRM, like I was saying about triggers. But then you also have Remind. If you're, if you're a member of your local board, probably has that for free. That's a great way um, mm -hmm. to use the data in a different way. Uh, HomeSnap Pro also will tell you likely sellers, and I can tell you... I was at whoever wasn't at NAR Home Snap Pro oh. Home Snap, which is homes.com, which is also CoStar. CoStar, yep, yep, CoStar. Um, you know, they rented a couple blocks and had a big country concert, and then also gave away a Tesla and twenty five thousand dollars cash. So they're investing a lot into the. They they spent a lot of money on that on that concert. On uh, uh, what's his name, Keith Urban? A lot of money. They closed probably five or six blocks of the on the Gaslight District in um in San Diego, um and sponsored it. Open bar, free food. They spent a lot of money. On yeah. So uh, Billy's question: Does the Stream Deck only work with desktop or lap laptops? Yes. Yes. N not phones. It connects via USB, but you want you have to make sure you have a program to. You could use it independently, but we both integrate it with our with our ecam do you you've yep. ever used it independently i do i use it i can use it through the loop deck okay yeah because then it's just I a can separate use this. interface right yeah yeah all that all it is so like for playing the sounds and stuff i just have it as one of the computer audio so it'll play through that's the reason why i wasn't playing through before i didn't have it on oh okay um alan i would say the other big investment would i would invest in into some kind of messenger bots or some kind of social media messaging um, or social media advertising, even and integrate that with your CRM and a, and a decent yeah, trip, I would, trip campaign. I would, if if you're not doing it already, and which you should be doing, is I would do the big investment in video. And I wouldn't even pay like you don't need huge cameras, you know. If you have a a, a newer iPhone or you have a newer Android, you know, I'd invest in literally like the lapel mics. The, um, Smart Mike makes one, spelled Mike as in the person's name. It's Bluetooth. Great thing. That's actually one of the things I'm actually buying. It's a little clip on Lavalel mic. Um, I, I would invest in video. Like I'd invest and go all in on video. And that's more of time than it really is for um, money investment. But if you're not doing it now, because there, there's video is the wave of the future. If it's, first of all, it's not the future. It's the now. And it's right. going to continue to be more and more. People don't want to read things anymore. They want video. They want to see your personality. So if I'm using, you know, uh, um, if I'm using a CRM, I'm putting video in it. Like I'm having a video introduction. If I'm sending out a newsletter via electronic mail, the first thing is going to be a video introduction. So if I was investing anything right now and I didn't, it would be invest in not only getting the stuff to do video, but learning how to do video. And by the way, um, yeah, if you see this now, and, and this is what everybody's saying, is that um, pretty much Instagram is going to go bye-bye within the next three to five years. Yeah. Yep. Because you're getting more towards of that TikTok aspect, where it's just straight out video, video, video. As you notice, Instagram changed reels and then TV. People want more of the non-produced videos. They don't want to see you sitting behind a desk talking where it's rehearsed and you're re they don't want that anymore. They want that, want to see your personality. They don't care if you mess up. 
um, that's where it's that's where it's getting to. It's different if you're doing advertisements for a listing or something like that. Then they need to be produced. But this is the thing: if you're doing a produced, like a highly produced walkthrough video of your listing, guess what? Do one with your cell phone too. Do one with your iPhone. Do one with your Android, and talk through it. Those will get more views than anything else. I, and Jamie, after we after we get off here, I'll tell you who told me about Instagram. By the way, I mean it's not. I I, I would say. I would call. Well, it. I would, let me say this way. But it's, it's it, going to go away as it'll we always know change. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. That would be a more accurate statement. Um, yes. And and because they are investing heavily into, um, into re like I could tell you right now, they sent me an email saying, "Hey, we'll pay you to make more reels." Literally, I'm doing. Yep. So, I do a lot of reels. I, I said I saw that, that the algorithm was favoring it, and it's getting more engagement. So why wouldn't I do more of it? And then I got an email I got from, we'll, from Facebook. I got the, we will pay you to start doing reels. I actually got yeah. that. Yeah. I need to do more to start doing it because I don't do them. And then they said, uh, we'll also pay you to get a new chair. You went, did I show you that email? Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, so that, that tells you that um, do more of it. Uh, you can go to this. Go to this. Uh, Dub is a pretty good program. It's a bomb bomb competitor. It's a great way to integrate video into your messaging, but it works great on your mobile device, but also can integrate with your CRM. Whatever you're using, it will work well with. So you don't have to kind of, cause that's the biggest thing. Some people are like, oh, I want to yeah. switch my CRM, but I've been doing it with 10 years with this one. Okay, keep it, keep it. And then yeah. use dub or use bomb bomb to integrate with it or whatever the case may mm -hmm. be. Um, just Jeff's right. I think video, helped me to exponentially grow my business at a time when people lost business, like when the pandemic hit and everything had to be done virtually. I was like, I, I've been training for this my whole life. Video killed the radio star. Oh, that's a good song. Video I know. I love to play it too. I'm like, the radio star. Copy copyright violation, copyright violation. Oh, I just got one of them removed too, by the way. They muted one of my videos you can and uh, Warner, Warner, uh, said they removed, they released their copyright infringement on my video that a radio was playing in the background. How often should I do a video for, you should be doing videos if, if you're talking about anytime you send anybody anything out. So this is my thing. If I'm sending them out a market update and that's going to be part of my, part of my, e my blast that's going to go to um, people in my CRM. It's going to be a video introduction. Hey, this is Jeff Stanton, Douglas Elm Real Estate. Just let you know our fourth quarter market report came out for New York City, and it says X, Y, and Z. Link below is a copy of the market report. If you have any questions or want to know how much the value of your house is, please let me know. Boom, done. Like something quick like that. Every single time there should be anything you're sending one that they can read to me, I would do a video introduction of it. Yeah, so Alan... We're gonna call you A Man. A Man, this is J Man. What's up? I know, I know Alan very well, by the way. He's cool. I oh, just got a great name. I, I would, what I always say to agents: start with a, a list of frequently asked questions, a question you might hear more than once. That's mm -hmm. the best place to start in video content creation, because then, like when we go into contract, I have the a pending process video. It goes, hey, this is congratulations. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Here is a list of things that we need to do next. And the next day they get, hey, you know, home inspection is a very important part of the process. Here's what you should expect and as, as far as the home inspection is concerned. And that, right, for, for the pending process for buyers and sellers, but then also just for consumers in general, like, uh, you know, first-time home buyer programs, anything you may get. Can I buy a foreclosure with financing? How long should the closing process take? All the questions because we know factually that people – are doing their research two to 24 months before they ever select an agent. Yep. So if you can get, educational get phase. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I would, that's one thing. If you're not doing now, I would go all in investment on video. All in. And again, to me, it's not even the cost. It's just the time of learning and the time of doing it. And there's the thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. People want to see your personality. Like, honestly, if, if me and Jim and worried about this looking perfect, which we don't, we would record it beforehand. We would edit it out. We'd be in a studio someplace. Does it, that's, Cause you see our personalities. That's, that's what Jeff wanted to do actually. No, never. I don't like, I don't <laughs> like produce video. I don't, I, I don't like, no, video. no, oh, I like, I, but, but we could also, we could also, we could also like be like this the whole time. 
Hey Jeff, so let's talk about the topic at hand today and be like yep. totally like newscasters, right? Not want to yeah. be unprofessional because at some point in someone's life, they said, if you're silly or you're having fun, that's unprofessional. And I would, yeah. I would highly disagree and say, look at the more you are yourself, authenticity rings true over anything else you can do. Uh, Especially and- we're in the people business. People want to know that you're a real person, not a robot with a script. And again, there is a place for those scripted videos. There is. However, I've always, and I've been saying it for years and years and years, I prefer the raw of a live video, recorded live, and boom, done. So much more. I know from my stuff, when I go live and put live videos, it's always get more comments, more interactions. Even the recorded ones, I've recorded live and put up the recording, I always get more interactions than anything else. People want to see your personality. So, I mean, like I said, if you're going to invest in anything, it would be video, video, video. It would be predictive uh, predictive indexes. It would be analytics and big data. Like that, that to me should be the agent's investments for next year. Because that's investing in yourself. What about you, J-Man? Because we only have like two minutes left. I mean, I would say along the same lines when we talk about delegating things, there's one thing that I will never delegate and it's my social media. Yeah. Because in line with what you just said, while Mm -hmm. I can create a calendar of posts for the whole month, I know who you are. Okay. Because I don't, I know you, I see your personality in person. And then I go on your, your social media is like, Oh, it's terrific Tuesday. Here's a post. Here's a post. Here's a post. Right. And it's, it's all of this, like very vanilla, very corporate, very like, man, Mm -hmm. just, just hop on and do a little dance, spread a little love. It's the same thing. Like a lot of people hire again. I I don't believe in hiring someone for your social media. I I don't like, I don't, I think that's stuff you should do yourself. Listen, if the standard ads and that type of stuff you want to do, and you want to hire someone who's really good at, you know, totally different because I'll tell you this. I know when someone I'm interacting on social media and interacting with on social media is actually the real person I'm interacting or not. I know hundred percent because I've had agents that, Oh, I hired someone to hey, you know, they'll kind of comment, but they're not you. And you know that. Give me a perfect example. Like, I know when Tom Ferry posts, when he goes live on his video or something like that, if I leave a comment, I know when it's him. Because he'll do thumbs up, pound sign, that's what he does. When someone, and I'm not saying this was him, some other people have their social medias. Oh, Jeffrey, thank you so much for watching my video. We love the interaction. That's not him. I've known Tom for 25 years. Tom's never saying that to me. Tom said to me, get off your ass, stop watching my video and go do some work. Like that's what he was saying, like legitimately. So I I would never farm out those social media interactions. Just wouldn't do it. So Jeff will know it's me when I say, indubitably. I'm just going to hit end show. I'm just hitting end show with the indubitably. So J-Man, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, Your mic got all messed up, but here, I'm going to put some music on. My mic's not messed up. My mic's not messed up at all. Because your audio's messed up. All right, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Thanksgiving. Much to say about nothing. Hey, see me on Friday. 9 a.m. Friday. White Friday. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a good one. Don't eat too much. I'm I'm, I'm, just just end end, end the show, please. End the show. No, I'm I'm waiting for you to dance. I can't do it until you're done. Wait, wait, don't hang up, 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 don't h